What's going on internet? IG here once again. This time we're having a look at the LXDE variant of the Ubuntu family with the 13.10 release cycle. Lubuntu, the saucy salamander. Let's check it out. So I've got to say, the last time that I did an LXDE based distribution review, it was way back at the start of this whole YouTube thing. Back in 2011, can you believe that? May have even been at the end of 2010. Anyway, I'll find a link and put it down below and you can see what the, the change since then. But anyway, Lubuntu 13.10. LXDE is a lightning fast distribution and you should definitely check it out if you've got older hardware because it can run very well on computers that are up to six, six seven, eight years old. Running on very minimal resources, it looks very nice, and the Lubuntu team do a fantastic job of theming it out to make it look nice and modern, even if you are running it on older hardware. So you can kiss Windows XP goodbye with this distribution. And now that Lubuntu is a part of the official Ubuntu family, it gets all the love that it needs from Canonical to keep it up and running. So let's check it out. Okay, so first up, one thing that I want to say about Lubuntu is I do really like the look and feel of it. I've actually liked the look and feel of it for quite some time. They bring a nice icon set to the table and they keep a very sort of light and airy theme about it. The fonts are a little big, but that's a minor gripe. As far as LXDE as a desktop goes, it is very lightweight, very minimalist, and it doesn't give you as many customization options as something like XFC or of course the big ones like GNOME and KDE do. But having said that, if you're looking for a distribution that is guaranteed to run on older hardware with minimal hiccups, but it still looks modern and is still capable of getting stuff done, then LXDE or Lubuntu is your one-stop shop. One thing that I do really appreciate about Lubuntu is the fact that they do actually make an effort to bundle in lightweight applications with the distribution and also lightweight tools that help you manage the system. So no chunky Ubuntu software center is to be found here. What they do give you is the Lubuntu software center. And essentially the Lubuntu software center is just a lightweight version of a, of a package manager that you can use to install uh, all the different categories of software that you so choose. In my experience, it's a lot snappier than the Ubuntu Software Center, and it looks a lot more minimalist as well. So it's very easy to go in here, add an app to your app download basket, and then simply install all of the apps that you have in your basket. So it gets the job done with minimal fuss and sludge, and it looks a lot cleaner than the Ubuntu Software Center as well. You can also toggle on the expert mode as well as toggling on either screenshots or checking your internet connection at startup. And of course you can open software properties here as well to change any of the repositories or PPAs that you might wanna have. Now, as far as pre-installed applications, like I already mentioned, you do get a pretty lightweight set. So in graphics, there's no GIMP, but you do get the MT Paint graphic editor along with the document viewer and simple scan. You get Firefox, Pigeon, Silphid and Transmission for internet, Abiwerg and GDU Merrick for your office needs, similar to the Zubuntu release. And you get a couple of lightweight media tools here as well, just to help you manage your webcam, any videos you might have, and your music, of course. Now, when it comes to actually customizing the look and feel of LXDE, or customizing the look and feel of Lubuntu, then you do actually have a few options. As you can see, the Lubuntu default theme is actually pretty nice, as I've already mentioned, but there are a few different ones here to choose from, and they change almost instantly as soon as you enable them, which is pretty cool. As far as appearance goes, you can customize nearly everything about this distribution, as far as the GTK theming goes and the icon themes. So you can see here we've got the elementary icons, elementary dark, the gnome classic icons, ugly, humanity, and of course we'll just switch it back to Lubuntu that can stay that way for the moment. So you've got a lot of good options there. And as far as actually configuring your hardware, there isn't really any central settings manager, but the preferences menu is fairly comprehensive when it comes to managing the hardware that's on your system. So for example, you've got desktop preferences, which it, it does exactly what it says, changes the background and puts icons on the desktop, etc. And then the rest of it is kind of split between either software preferences or hardware preferences. So for instance, you can manage your drives and media with disks. You can manage your network connections. You can manage your power with the XFC4 power manager. Now, of course, it's not running because this is in a virtual machine, so it doesn't really make any sense. And you can change your monitor settings as well. While LXDE, thus Lubuntu, borrow quite a few settings and dialog boxes from other desktop environments like XFCE, they do it in such a way that you don't really notice and it still gets the job done with minimal fuss. And also, did I add that Lubuntu is extremely snappy? 
Like I'm talking click and it'll open snappy. Again, no fancy compositing or transitions here. It's all point, click and shoot. As you can see, this distribution is ready to get work done when you are, and you're not left waiting around for anything or anyone. They give you a nice selection of accessories here as well, just to cover the basics as far as archiving, image viewing, text editing, terminaling, and a few little desktop notes as well, which is pretty cool. Similar to Zubuntu, it's a bit of a bare bones system in that you are going to want to install other applications to really flesh out the capabilities of this desktop. But if you need something to run on older hardware, even up to 10 years old, then Lubuntu is your shot. You can still get all the up-to-date software and up-to-date Linux kernel, but with a lightweight desktop environment, that'll keep your system from bogging down. Seriously, this one will give XP a really decent run for its money. When it comes to actual system resources, you can see here I've assigned it two gigs of RAM, and at the moment it's using about 568 megs of that RAM. Granted, I do have a few things open and running here in the background. So if you've got older hardware, then I definitely recommend Lubuntu even over Zubuntu, just because Zubuntu has a bit more going on in the background than what Lubuntu does. But if you do have a slightly more capable system, then Zubuntu is probably going to give you a few more customization options, and it's gonna give you a little bit more power as well, as far as what you can do in things like the file manager, desktop searching, that kind of thing. Lubuntu is certainly light, but it's definitely not as powerful as its older brothers like Zubuntu and of course the Kubuntu releases. So yeah, Lubuntu is a really fast distribution and if you're looking for speed and simplicity, then Lubuntu is your main go-to distro. Again, if you're also looking for a distribution that is light on resources so that you can focus your computing resources on more intensive tasks like video editing or, or image editing or that kind of thing, then definitely check it out anyway because also the resources that you get from not having a really boggy distribution will give you a lot faster results when it comes to all of those CPU intensive programs. And it may even be worth checking out for gaming. I'm not exactly sure about that because I'm not a big gamer, especially on Linux at this point, but check it out anyway. It does get all of the support that the Ubuntu desktop gets as far as application compatibility. So it's definitely a worthwhile option. Once again, if you like this video, then click the like button down below and then hit subscribe if you like this content on a regular basis. And I shall see you all in the very near future with a look at the Ubuntu GNOME edition, because that's one I've never looked at before. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.